trying to do today is we're showing you we're going to cut up this azurite malachite from Mill PS which is in Sonora Mexico this was dropped off by a client and the client did not like the middle area here because it has no luster and through previous cleaning attempts on trying to remove what we thought was a coating on the azurites it hasn't helped anything so and we have three areas here that exhibit um, really good luster might be a little hard to see from the camera so anyways uh, what the end result is after months of trying to put the luster get luster on it without actually putting it on it with a spray or something uh, we've decided to cut it into three major pieces with this incredibly laborious little thing here called a coping saw with a diamond rope in it uh, which goes back and forth and you know, you cover about an inch every half an hour, so get patient, buckle in. our piece. Now we get to figure out how we want to do the final shaping. That's what it looks like from the back. Here's the evil middle section that the client didn't like because of the uh, luster issues. But we're still going to get a little crazy here and see if we can turn it into something that at least looks pretty really good. Might not have the value of the other ones, but uh, I think we get a nice shape. Yeah, and here's kind of an overview of the piece, uh, kind of laid back like it originally sat. We ended up with four pieces here. We're going to kind of try to keep them large. I originally anticipated about five, but I kind of like the way they're looking, the way they're sitting, so I'm going to hold tight. Shaped them up yesterday with the saws. Uh, started with the coping saw, got it trimmed into the four pieces, shaped them out with the big 14-inch diamond saw. Now we've got these backs and we want to try to, um, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to define some of the azurites a little bit better up here along the leading edge. And then on the back we're going to go ahead and try to get rid of some of our saw marks and stuff so that way it doesn't look quite as much like we were in there gouging around with a big saw. So we're going to accomplish that here with the micro abrasives. Rough it out a little bit and then if we have to we'll come back with the uh, micro jacks which are the uh, impact chisels from Paleo Tools. Those do a nice job on roughing out the backs. So, we'll sit down here, we're set up here, we're using glass beads. About 60 PSI on our machines here. That way, I mean, we could go full bore and go 120, but uh, we want a little bit more control over what we're doing here. Oh, <laughs> 